Hi, I'm Craig, and I'm an American studying Russian, and I'm going to show you other ways I utilize time. It's sort of like a part two to my last video. Um, so here's what I do with podcasts. Uh, basically, I work in an office. Um, some days I spend a lot of time in here, and sometimes I don't. So when I am in here, I can... Uh, I can listen on the speaker here to Russian podcasts or Russian TPRS and uh, respond to the questions. Um, but for Russian podcasts, I just want to show you how how I like to do this. Um, okay, so I in Windows Media Player, I created these playlists, and okay, so these are for Russian with Max. These are uh, audio files that uh, Max from Russian with Max provides um, on some of his uh, TPRS videos. And this is from a website, RussianPodcast.eu. And I use this Russian repeat single, which currently has nothing in there. And what I do is I use the repeat button down here to turn the repeat offer on. Ooh, I can't hold the phone still. Um, okay, so basically what I do is I turn the repeat on so that I can uh, I add one of those one of those audio files from uh, one of those playlists. I just add one of them to uh, to the repeat single playlist and whichever one I want to listen to and turn the repeat on and listen to that over and over and over. Now I prefer uh, if it's if it's not questions and answers where I have to respond, and it's just listening to Russian, then I prefer them to be five minutes or less. And the reason for this is because, um, and it doesn't matter if it's slow Russian or fast Russian, I just prefer it to be short five minutes or less. This is because with the repeat option, um, the repetition is how you learn. And if it's only five minutes long, then... Uh, and you have repeat on all day, those words in that podcast will be repeated more times in an hour. So if it's exactly five minutes long and you have repeat on, all of those words will re be repeated t uh, 12 times an hour. If you went down and made it shorter or used a shorter one that was only three minutes, they would be repeated 20 times an hour. And this repetition of listening is what really helps me. Now, the Russian podcast.eu. Uh, has some long podcasts, but they kind of fall in this category because she reads a dialogue, a dialogue slow, then um, explains the vocabulary in Russian, and then um, reads the dialogue again with somebody, but does it faster, and then you have repeat on. So even though they're longer than five minutes, it's you're still you still have a repetition of those words, those dialogues, slow and fast with. Um, hearing those words again in an explanation form. So that's very useful. But I basically leave these materials out to refer to if I'm, I'm memorizing this from the last video, Russian study methods uh, 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 utilizing time. And you can, you can put Russian on one side and English translation on the other side. But I just have it there. I, I don't really actively use it, but if I need to refer to it, it's there. And I may put a grammar chart there. Um, I, I, I don't know where I found this one. I really like it because it's abbreviated. So it's, uh, oh, there you go. Mm, it's like readyrussian.org. But, uh, and it has a second page, which I only refer to sometimes when I need to clear up something. But anyway, that's a short video today. I'm American studying Russian. Please check out my, uh, my other videos, and hopefully I will be able to make some more of these for you. Thank you.